During the 1950s and 60s, John Wayne, a legendary Western actor, left an indelible mark on Hollywood. With a career spanning 179 productions, he was recognized as one of the greatest male stars by the American Film Institute in 1999. Despite his professional achievements, the actor's personal life was far from smooth. He married three times, each marriage marked by turmoil. Interestingly, family was of utmost importance to Wayne, and yet, there was one marriage he regretted deeply. Let's delve into this intriguing aspect of his life. Wayne's first marriage was in 1933 to Josephine Alicia Seens, with whom he had four children. The couple divorced in 1945. His second marriage to Esperanza Bohr in 1946 was fraught with difficulties and ended in 1954. The actor's third marriage to Pillar Pallid in 1954 lasted until his death in 1979. However, it was his second marriage that Wayne reportedly regretted the most. The reasons behind this regret remain a subject of speculation, adding another layer to the complex tapestry of this classic actor's life. John Wayne, born as Marion Robert Morrison on May 26, 1907, in Iowa, was a classic Hollywood actor who was nicknamed Duke after his dog. The nickname was given by a local fireman and became his preferred name over his birth name, Marion. When the Morrison family moved to California, they brought Duke with them, and it was there that his journey to stardom began. Duke's family settled in Glendale, California, where he attended school and played football. He was a talented athlete, but a football injury in college changed the course of his life. During his recovery, he took a job as a prop boy at the Fox Film Corporation, where he met the director John Ford. This meeting would prove to be a pivotal moment in Duke's career, as Ford would later cast him in several of his films. Duke's first film role was in the 1926 movie Brown of Harvard, where he was credited as Duke Morrison. However, it wasn't until 1930 that he landed his first starring role in the film The Big Trail. The film was a financial failure, but it showcased Duke's talent and set him on a path to stardom. Despite his early setbacks, Duke persevered and continued to work in the film industry. He appeared in numerous films throughout the 1930s and 1940s, often playing rugged, heroic characters. He became known for his distinctive voice, his confident swagger, and his ability to portray strong, silent types. Duke's career reached new heights in the 1950s and 1960s, when he starred in some of his most iconic films, such as The Searchers, Rio Bravo, and True Grit. He won an Academy Award for his performance in True Grit, cementing his status as a Hollywood legend. Throughout his career, Duke appeared in over 170 films and became one of the most beloved actors in Hollywood history. His legacy continues to live on, and he remains a cultural icon to this day. In conclusion, John Wayne's journey to stardom began with a simple nickname given to him by a local fireman. From his early days as a prop boy to his iconic roles in classic films, Duke's talent and charisma shone through in every role he played. His legacy continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. John Wayne, born Marion Robert Morrison, was a star student athlete in high school. He excelled in both academics and sports, earning the nickname The Duke after his childhood dog. After graduating, Wayne attended the University of Southern California as a pre-law major where he continued his athletic pursuits by playing on the Trojan football team. Unfortunately, a body surfing accident left him with a serious shoulder injury, putting an end to his dreams of a sports career. However, this setback did not deter him from pursuing his passions. Wayne's charisma and talent for storytelling led him to try his hand at acting, and he soon found success in the film industry. In 1933, John Wayne married Josephine Seentz, a Latina beauty, and the daughter of a prominent Panamanian diplomat. The couple had four children together and were known for their strong bond and loving relationship. However, after seven years of marriage, their relationship came to an end due to Wayne's affair with actress Marlene Dietrich during the filming of Seven Sinners. Despite the heartbreak and scandal, Wayne continued to focus on his career, becoming one of the most iconic figures in Hollywood history. His rugged good looks, tough guy persona, and undeniable charm made him a favorite among audiences, and his films remain classics to this day. John Wayne's first marriage was not without its challenges. His wife, Josephine, discovered his affair with Marlene Dietrich, which led to a difficult period in their relationship. Seeking help, Josephine sought counseling, but ultimately, the couple separated and divorced in 1945. The actor didn't waste any time and quickly remarried less than a month after his divorce from Josephine. His new wife was Esperanza Bohr, known as Chata. 
The couple had high hopes for their future together, but their marriage was also fraught with issues. Chada, who was previously married to a Mexican bullfighter, was known for her fiery temperament and jealousy. These traits led to several arguments and conflicts between the couple. Despite their issues, the actor remained committed to making their marriage work, but ultimately, it was not meant to be. The couple's tumultuous relationship came to an end in 1946, just a year after they were married. The actor's second marriage had ended in failure, but he would go on to marry again, this time to Pillar Palit, with whom he would spend the rest of his life. In the end, John Wayne's personal life was as dramatic as any of his films. His relationships were filled with passion, conflict, and heartbreak, but he never let it deter him from his career or his commitment to his craft. John Wayne's marriage to Chada was not without its challenges. The couple faced several issues, including the presence of Chada's mother living with them, Chada's desire to pursue an acting career, and Wayne's preference for her to be a homemaker. These differences in priorities and interests led to frequent arguments between the two. Chada, feeling unfulfilled with her role as a homemaker, developed a drinking problem. Her dissatisfaction with her life and her husband's expectations for her drove her to drink excessively. This, in turn, caused even more tension and conflict in their marriage. Despite the actor's attempts to help Chada overcome her drinking problem, the situation only worsened. The frequent arguments and the stress of living with Chada's mother added to the strain on their relationship. In the end, the couple's differences and Chada's drinking problem proved too much for their marriage to withstand. John Wayne's marriage to Chada was filled with struggles that eventually led to their divorce in 1954. The actor, known for his tough guy image on screen, was becoming increasingly frustrated with Chada's behavior and hygiene. Their arguments became more frequent and tensions between them continued to rise. One day, Chada greeted Wayne with a gun, which proved to be the final straw in their tumultuous relationship. The incident was a clear indication of the depth of their problems and the danger that they posed to each other. The divorce was a difficult and contentious process, with Chada accusing Wayne of abuse and alcoholism. The actor vehemently denied these allegations, but the damage had already been done. The marriage had become irreparable, and there was no turning back. In the end, the couple went their separate ways, with Wayne continuing his successful career in Hollywood. Despite the challenges he faced in his personal life, the actor remained a beloved figure in American cinema, known for his rugged individualism and unwavering determination. However, the memories of his troubled marriage to Chada would continue to haunt him, serving as a reminder of the struggles he faced both on and off the screen. The divorce was a painful chapter in Wayne's life, but it was also a testament to his resilience and his ability to overcome even the most difficult of challenges. In 1954, the actor John Wayne found happiness when he married Pillar Pellit. Their marriage began on a positive note, with the couple enjoying each other's company and building a life together. However, in 1964, Wayne received devastating news that would impact their relationship. He was diagnosed with late-stage lung cancer. The diagnosis was a significant blow to the actor, who had to undergo major surgery to remove his left lung and four ribs. This invasive procedure put a strain on his marriage to Palit, as he required extensive care and support during his recovery. Despite the challenges, Palit remained by his side, showing her commitment to their relationship. The surgery and subsequent treatment took a toll on Wayne's health, but he remained determined to continue his acting career. He returned to work, appearing in several films and television shows, including The Green Berets and True Grit, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Actor. Throughout this difficult time, Paley remained a constant presence in Wayne's life, providing him with the love and support he needed to get through his health crisis. Their marriage, while strained at times, endured and they remained together until Wayne's death in 1979. In the end, the actor's lung cancer diagnosis and subsequent treatment had a profound impact on his marriage to Paley. While it was a challenging time, they remained committed to each other and their love and support saw them through the difficult period. In the 1970s, John Wayne's marriage to Pillar faced significant challenges. The couple, who had been together since 1954, eventually separated in 1973 due to the strain in their relationship. The actor's history of infidelity had contributed to their problems. One of the most well-known affairs Wayne had was with his secretary, Pat Stacy. Their relationship lasted for several years, adding to the tension in his marriage to Pillar. Moreover, there were rumors of another affair with actress Maureen O'Hara, his co-star in several films. These extramarital relationships had a profound impact on Wayne's personal life 
leading to the eventual breakdown of his marriage. The actor's infidelity had a ripple effect, causing pain and heartache for those closest to him. Despite his success in his career, Wayne's marital issues served as a reminder that his personal life was far from perfect. John Wayne, the beloved actor known for his rugged roles and distinctive voice, was no stranger to rumors throughout his long career. One such persistent rumor involved an alleged affair with his frequent co-star, the Irish actress Maureen O'Hara. The two had an undeniable chemistry on screen, which sparked speculation about their relationship off screen. The pair first worked together in the 1947 film The Quiet Man, and their partnership continued through five more movies. Over the years, they developed a close bond, often spending time together on set and off. This friendship led to whispers and innuendos about a secret romance between the two. Despite denials from both Wayne and O'Hara, the rumors persisted. It was alleged that the actor frequently invited O'Hara to his ranch in Arizona, where they would spend time alone together. The vast, picturesque landscape of the ranch seemed to fuel the fire of these rumors, as it provided the perfect backdrop for a secret love affair. The two actors consistently downplayed the gossip, insisting that they were nothing more than close friends. O'Hara even went so far as to say that Wayne was like a brother to her. However, the public's fascination with their relationship continued to grow, even after Wayne's death in 1979. In her later years, O'Hara finally addressed the rumors in her 24 memoir, Tis Herself. She admitted that while she had a deep affection for Wayne, their relationship never went beyond friendship. Despite this clarification, the rumors of their alleged affair have continued to captivate fans and film historians alike. The bond between John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara remains one of the most enduring and intriguing aspects of Hollywood's golden age. Even if the rumors of a secret romance were never confirmed, their undeniable chemistry and close friendship continue to resonate with audiences today. The legacy of their partnership lives on in their classic films, leaving a lasting impact on the world of cinema. In the vast landscape of Hollywood's golden age, John Wayne, a name synonymous with the American West, left an indelible mark. Born Marion Robert Morrison on May 26, 1907, in Winterset, Iowa, he would grow up to become one of the most iconic figures in cinema history. Wayne's story is that of a boy who dreamt of adventure and found it in the world of film. He started as a prop boy, an extra, eventually landing his first leading role in 1930. But it was his portrayal of the Ringo Kid in John Ford's Stagecoach in 1939 that catapulted him to stardom. Over the next four decades, Wayne would appear in over 170 films, earning his reputation as a true American hero. His roles in classics like The Searchers, Rio Bravo, and True Grit, a performance that won him an Academy Award, cemented his status as a symbol of rugged individualism and patriotism. Yet, beyond the silver screen, Wayne was also a devoted family man and a shrewd businessman. He even formed his own production company, Batjack Productions, in 1952. Despite his passing in 1979, John Wayne's legacy continues to resonate. His films, filled with action, drama, and humor, remain popular, introducing new generations to his unique brand of storytelling. His life, a testament to the power of dreams and determination, serves as an inspiration for all. Born Marion Robert Morrison in 1907, the man who would become John Wayne was influenced by his family, an upbringing in Winterset, Iowa. His parents, Clyde and Mary, instilled in him the values of hard work and determination. At a young age, Marion developed an interest in storytelling and performing, often participating in school plays. When the family moved to California, Marion's athletic abilities caught the attention of football coaches. He attended the University of Southern California on a football scholarship. However, a body surfing accident left him with a damaged shoulder, ending his football career. During this time, Marion took on odd jobs and began working for film director John Ford as a prop boy. This opportunity exposed him to the world of filmmaking and allowed him to observe and learn from experienced actors. Ford saw potential in the young man and began casting him in small film roles, often as a cowboy or athlete. Marion adopted the stage name John Wayne and his acting career took off. He was influenced by early Western stars like Tom Mix and Harry Carey, adopting their strong, silent screen personas. Wayne's mentors, including directors John Ford and Howard Hawks, helped shape his career and solidify his status as a Western icon. Wayne's personal life also influenced his career. His military service during World War II and his conservative political views were reflected in many of his film roles. He became known for playing rugged, individualistic characters who stood up for what they believed in. 
In summary, John Wayne's family, upbringing, and early exposure to the film industry, as well as his mentors and personal experiences, all contributed to his development as an actor and his enduring legacy as a Western icon. Growing up in Winterset, Iowa, John Wayne's first taste of performing came at a young age. As a boy, he loved to put on shows for his neighbors, even going door to door to collect a penny from each family for admission. His passion for storytelling was evident even then. Later, while attending the University of Southern California on a football scholarship, Wayne found himself drawn to the world of drama. He joined the football team as a tackle, but after an injury sidelined him, he turned his attention to the theater. He began taking acting classes and landed his first film role in 1926, a bit part in a movie called Brown of Harvard. Wayne's big break came in 1930 when he was discovered by director John Ford. Ford cast him in several small roles, but it wasn't until 1939, when Wayne played the Ringo Kid in Ford's Stage Coach, that he became a star. From that point on, Wayne's career took off, and he became one of the most iconic figures in American cinema. Throughout his life, Wayne remained passionate about his craft. He once said, I've always been lucky in the sense that I've never done a picture I didn't want to do. I've always been able to do the kind of pictures I wanted to do. It was this passion and dedication that made John Wayne a true legend in the world of film. Born in 1907, John Wayne faced many challenges on his path to becoming a legendary actor. Hailing from a small town in Iowa, he struggled financially during his early years in Hollywood. In fact, he often had to work manual labor jobs to make ends meet. Rejection was a common occurrence for Wayne in the early days of his career. Many industry professionals doubted his acting abilities and questioned his suitability for leading roles. However, Wayne remained undeterred and continued to hone his craft. To overcome these obstacles, Wayne turned to creative solutions. He sought out roles in low-budget westerns, which allowed him to gain valuable experience and build his reputation. Despite the limited resources and modest budgets of these films, Wayne used them as an opportunity to develop his unique style and swagger. Wayne's resilience and determination paid off. As he gained more experience and confidence, he began to attract the attention of more prominent directors and producers. He eventually landed leading roles in major motion pictures, cementing his status as a Hollywood icon. Through it all, Wayne remained humble and grounded. He never forgot his humble beginnings and the challenges he faced early on. And in doing so, he became an inspiration to aspiring actors and a symbol of perseverance and hard work. In 1930, John Wayne's career reached a turning point with the film The Big Trail. Director Raoul Walsh took a risky move by casting the relatively unknown Wayne as the lead in this groundbreaking project, which was one of the first films to use widescreen cinematography. The film's ambitious scope provided Wayne with the opportunity to showcase his acting skills and rugged charisma, earning him recognition in the industry. Critics began to take notice of Wayne's potential, praising his natural screen presence and strong silent type persona. Peers in the film industry also acknowledged his talent, with veteran actor Harry Carey becoming a mentor to Wayne and helping him hone his craft. Carey's influence can be seen in Wayne's subsequent roles, as he adopted a more subtle and nuanced approach to acting. Wayne's breakthrough role in The Big Trail laid the foundation for his enduring image as the quintessential American hero. Throughout the 1930s and 1940s, he became a fixture in Western films, playing tough, independent characters that resonated with audiences. His performances in classics such as Stagecoach, Red River, and The Searchers further solidified his status as a Hollywood icon. In 1969, Wayne reached the pinnacle of his career with his portrayal of Rooster Cogburn in True Grit. His nuanced performance earned him critical acclaim and the Academy Award for Best Actor, a well-deserved recognition for his decades-long contribution to the film industry. Wayne's impact on cinema transcended generations, with his work leaving a lasting impression on both his contemporaries and future filmmakers. Collaborators and critics alike have praised Wayne's ability to embody the spirit of the American West and his unwavering commitment to his craft. His groundbreaking projects, recognition, and critical acclaim have cemented his place in the annals of Hollywood history as a true cinematic legend. John Wayne, born Marion Robert Morrison in 1907, was an American actor known for his distinctive style and unique approach to his work. Growing up in Southern California, he developed a love for the outdoors and sports, which would later influence his on-screen roles. Wayne's acting career began in the 1920s, but it was his work with director John Ford that solidified his status as a Hollywood icon. 
Ford cast Wayne in several of his films, including Stagecoach in 1939, which brought the actor to national attention. Wayne's approach to acting was straightforward and unpretentious. He once said, I've always been accused of having a strong jaw, so I figured I might as well use it. This no-nonsense attitude was reflected in his on-screen characters, which often embodied American values such as courage, determination, and loyalty. Despite his tough guy image, Wayne was known for his kindness and generosity off-screen. He was deeply patriotic and supported the military, often visiting troops overseas. His personal experiences, including his service in the Office of Strategic Services during World War II, informed his on-screen roles and gave him a unique perspective. Wayne's worldview was also reflected in his work. He often played characters who were struggling to maintain their values and way of life in the face of changing times. This theme resonated with audiences and helped to make Wayne one of the most popular actors of his time. In the end, John Wayne's artistic vision and process were deeply intertwined with his personal experiences and worldview. His unique approach to acting and his on-screen characters left an indelible mark on American cinema and continue to be celebrated today. John Wayne, born Marion Robert Morrison in 1907, became an iconic figure in American cinema. His influence on the industry is still felt today. Known for his portrayal of rugged, individualistic characters, Wayne helped define the Western genre. Director Martin Scorsese once said, John Wayne represents a certain type of American heroism and a certain type of American virtue. This sentiment is echoed by film critic Roger Ebert, who noted, more than any other star, John Wayne represents the American movie industry to the world. Wayne's on-screen persona was that of a strong, silent type, often playing men who stood up for what they believed in, no matter the cost. This portrayal resonated with audiences and helped shape the way future filmmakers approach storytelling. Actor and director Clint Eastwood, who was heavily influenced by Wayne, once said, John Wayne has probably had more influence on my life than any other individual. Eastwood's own career, which includes many roles in westerns, is a testament to Wayne's enduring influence. Wayne's impact extends beyond just the western genre. His performances in films like The Searchers and The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance showcased his range as an actor and his ability to convey complex emotions with just a look. Director Steven Spielberg, a noted fan of Wayne's work, once said, John Wayne was more than a movie star. He was a symbol of what's best about America. This sentiment is echoed by many in the industry who see Wayne as more than just an actor, but as a symbol of American values and ideals. In conclusion, John Wayne's contribution to the film industry is immeasurable. His portrayal of rugged, individualistic characters helped define the Western genre, and his on-screen persona continues to influence actors and filmmakers today. Whether through his portrayal of American values or his ability to convey complex emotions with just a look, Wayne's impact on the industry is undeniable. John Wayne, the legendary actor, was known for his tough, rugged persona on screen. But off screen, he was a devoted family man who cherished his time with his wife and children. He was born Marion Robert Morrison in 1907 in Iowa and grew up in Southern California. Wayne's love for the outdoors and his rural upbringing influenced many of his film roles. He was an avid fisherman and hunter and often incorporated those interests into his characters. In his personal life, he enjoyed riding horses and spending time on his ranch. Despite his tough exterior, Wayne had a soft spot for those in need. He was involved in several philanthropic efforts throughout his life. He was a longtime supporter of the John Wayne Cancer Foundation, which was established in his honor after he passed away from cancer in 1979. The foundation aims to bring cancer education and support to communities across the country. Wayne was also passionate about supporting the military. He made numerous visits to troops overseas and was a vocal advocate for veterans' rights. In 1979, he was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal for his contributions to the country. John Wayne's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with his professional life. His love for the outdoors and his commitment to family and community were reflected in his film roles and his philanthropic efforts. Even after his passing, his legacy continues to inspire and make a difference in the lives of others. John Wayne, a name synonymous with the Western genre, leaves behind a legacy that continues to inspire aspiring actors. Known for his distinctive voice and walk, he portrayed rugged, individualistic characters that resonated with audiences. His work in classics like Stagey Coach and True Grit earned him an Academy Award, cementing his place in film history. For those hoping to follow in his footsteps, 
Wayne once offered valuable advice tomorrow is the most important thing in life. It comes into us at midnight very clean. It's up to us to keep it that way. Let's try. This speaks to the importance of staying grounded, humble, and dedicated to one's craft. Wayne's vision for the future of acting would likely involve embracing new technologies while staying true to the core principles of storytelling and character development. He might encourage aspiring professionals to explore diverse roles and genres, just as he did throughout his career. In terms of future contributions, the industry could benefit from more nuanced portrayals of strong, independent characters akin to those played by Wayne by drawing upon his legacy, while also pushing boundaries and challenging stereotypes. Aspiring actors can make a meaningful impact on the world of film and television. Born Marion Morrison in 1907, John Wayne's journey began when he traded his football dreams for a job as a prop boy at Fox Studios. His passion for acting led him to try out for roles, and he soon adopted the screen name John Wayne. Throughout his career, Wayne starred in over 170 films, demonstrating his versatility as an actor. He became known for his portrayal of rugged, tough, and independent characters, often in westerns. His innovative performances captivated audiences and left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Wayne's enduring impact can be seen in the countless actors who have been influenced by his work. He embodied the spirit of the American West and brought to life characters that resonate with people even today. One of Wayne's most iconic roles was in the film True Grit, for which he won the Academy Award for Best Actor in 1969. This recognition further solidified his status as a legendary actor and cemented his place in Hollywood history. John Wayne's creativity and perseverance continue to inspire generations of actors and filmmakers. His legacy serves as a reminder that with passion and hard work, one can leave a lasting impact on the world. As we reflect on Wayne's life and career, we are reminded of the power of creativity and perseverance and how they can shape not only the entertainment industry, but also the lives of those who experience it. As you reflect on the life and career of John Wayne, an actor who left an indelible mark on the film industry, you might consider sharing your thoughts on his work. Known for his distinctive voice and commanding presence, Wayne became a symbol of the American West through his many iconic roles. His career spanned decades, with his first leading role in a film coming in 1930 and his final film released in 1976, just a few years before his passing. During that time, he appeared in over 170 films, earning an Academy Award for his performance in True Grit. Wayne's work continues to resonate with audiences today, and his legacy as a cultural icon is undeniable. His portrayal of rugged, independent characters helped to shape the image of the American cowboy in the minds of people around the world. So, what do you think about John Wayne's contributions to the world of entertainment? Did you have a favorite film or performance of his? Share your thoughts in the comments below and join the conversation. And if you enjoy this content, please consider liking and sharing it with your friend and family. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the creative spirits who have shaped the entertainment landscape.